You know, one person who had a front row seat to the rise and fall of Kwame Kilpatrick, one of Detroit's own daughters, my former partner in this studio, Carmen Harlan. One of the first Detroiters of prominence to say that Kwame Kilpatrick had to go. That was a night in the newsroom we'll never forget. And I talked to her about it today, about Kwame's sudden reversal of fortune. This is like a bad movie that just won't end. We can't take it anymore, and neither can you, Mr. Mayor. The controversy surrounding Detroit's mayor had gone on for months, but it spoke volumes that night in August of 2008 when Carmen Harlan had had enough. But this time, sorry isn't enough. We need you to go home. Make things right in your home. We need you to resign immediately. Good to All see right. you, if only, if only digitally. These many years later, Carmen has, of course, moved on, and she thinks Detroit and Kwame Kilpatrick should, too. I guess I'm reflecting back on the last two weeks, Seven, and knowing how divided this country is and knowing how judgmental we you know, can be toward one another. I think right now what we need to do is just listen and with an open mind and maybe even an open heart to why people who we think should know better don't. Carmen says she is not in a punitive mood, and she's even open to the idea of Kilpatrick returning to Detroit if he can be a force for good. I think uh, as as we age, and I would hope that uh, that I have an opportunity to see things in a bigger perspective, and that is that people change. They can. They have the the opportunity, and they certainly have the wherewithal within themselves to make themselves a better person. And uh, we'll have to wait and see if that's if that's the case. He certainly had has had a lot of time to think about it. And you can watch Carmen's commentary from 2008 right now and click on Detroit.com or as we have long referred to them, a Carmen Terry. It's on our website right now.